Hey guys, so I mentioned before in my vlog that I was going to do a video about being an introvert and this wouldn't be an introvert video without a lot of reference to Susan Cain who has written a book called Quiet the Power of Introverts and she also has a TED talk that is absolutely inspirational and I'll link it down below and I just have to say if you're an introvert you need to watch that TED talk because it inspired me so much and made me appreciate who I am so much and I think that a lot of you would be able to take something away from it. I also discussed this with my mom because my mom, as she says, is a 55 year old introvert who spent a lot of her teen years hating who she was, living in a world that was supposed to be extroverted, um, and she was always the smart weird one. I thought that she could give a lot of insight to this having lived as her entire life as an introvert um, and I myself am an introvert so I'm doing this video and yeah so let's get started. Now being an introvert or an extrovert it's a continuum it's definitely not one or the other I think we all have varying levels of introversion and extroversion but not all of this video is going to help you not all of it is going to apply to everybody I just want to give that disclaimer this isn't like you know, 100% foolproof. I just wanted to share some myths, some facts, some tips on communicating with others and stuff like that for introverts. So one quote that I thought was funny, I'm going to read to you. It's very relevant to myself. It's by Susan Cain. It says, studies have shown that indeed introverts are more likely than extroverts to express intimate facts about themselves online that their family and friends would be surprised to read, to say they can express the real me online, and to spend more time in certain kinds of online discussions. They welcome the chance to communicate digitally. The same person who would never raise his hand in a lecture hall of 200 people might blog to 2,000 or 2 million without thinking twice. The same person who finds it difficult to introduce himself to strangers might establish a presence online and then extend these relationships into the real world. That's very relevant to me. I could never speak in front of a group of 20 people. Sorry, they're cutting down a tree in my front yard today, so that sound is really great. I even filmed this video. Where are they? I really hope that's not that loud on the camera. Anyway, I talk to you guys all the time, but I could never public speak in front of a group of people. And you know, there's 74,000 of you that watch my videos. Wow, that chainsaw. Anyway, I think I could finish this video now. So there is one more quote I want to read to you again by Susan Cain. I said I'd mention her a lot in this video as well as my mom. So here is another quote from her. Introverts, in contrast, may have strong social skills and enjoy parties and business meetings, but after a while wish they were home in their pajamas. They prefer to devote their social energies to close friends, colleagues, and family. They listen more than they talk, think before they speak, and often feel as if they express themselves better in writing than in conversation. They tend to dislike conflict. Many have a horror of small talk but enjoy deep discussions. So the myth is that introverts are always shy or they don't like to talk or be in public. But the truth is they only talk when they have something to say and they're not necessarily afraid of people, they just need a reason to begin talking. And typically they don't mind being in public, they just don't like to be in public for as long as maybe an extrovert and later wish that they were at home and able to recharge. Now it is true that introverts don't really like small talk. They prefer to talk with meaning so they love deep discussions and they love to talk about things that are really important to people and that's why they tend to listen better. They tend to be more empathetic but that's not to say extroverts can't be empathetic or good listeners but typically that's those are traits of an introvert as well. It's also true that introverts get their energy from being alone and they need time to think and reflect about something and I read that it's really an introvert doesn't feel the need to be in public all that long because they're quick at you know taking it all in and quick to you know absorb their surroundings and they don't need as long to feel tired from all of it so I mean an extrovert does feel tired after a certain time out in public or at a party or something, they too at eventually will wish to go home. So it's not necessarily just an introvert that feels that way, but they just don't like to be there as long as an extrovert. Being an introvert doesn't mean that one is quiet or reserved. You can be an introvert and be loud and talkative, just as an extrovert can be quiet and reserved. Being an introvert just means that you need some time alone in a day to recharge your batteries. Unsurprisingly, some of the most successful presidents, authors, scientists, and freedom fighters were introverts. So those of you who are introverts or identify as introverts should feel proud that you are that and 
I think now it's definitely more accepted to be the quiet one or the smart one. Um, not that they necessarily go hand in hand, but sometimes they do. And I feel like you should feel proud of that. I'm very proud to be an introvert, but I wasn't always, and my mom wasn't always. She was miserable in her teens, especially growing up in a society of extroverts. I feel like now we're lucky to grow up in a society of mixed you know, it's accepted to be both. And at the time of my mother's years, I would say it was more accepted to be an extrovert. So I discussed with my mom on ways to interact as an introvert. And first of all, I don't want you to feel like you're the weird one or you have to conform to this society of extroverts. You should feel proud of who you are and accept that you're an introvert and use that to your advantage and find ways to interact that are you're comfortable with. You don't have to be the outgoing one or the talkative one in the group. I know some of you feel as though you're not being heard in a group or no one's gonna listen to you when you're in a group and it's okay to be the quiet one listening. Both types should learn to interact with each other and respect each other's differences. That's what it's really all about is accepting everybody's differences and also respecting their individual way of recharging their batteries. Extroverts need to interact with people to feel energized and introverts simply just need alone time. So one of the ways my mom suggests of interacting is to ask questions, to be interested in other people. She says take people watching to the next level. If they approach you and just talk to you, be interested in them and ask questions because extroverts love talking about themselves. I mean, who doesn't love talking about themselves? But I don't want to like generalize here, but it's kind of hard when we're talking about two different groups of people. But you should take advantage of your quiet nature to listen and be empathetic and, you know, ask them questions about what they're talking about, especially if they're passionate about it. You can absorb that energy. I love talking to people who are passionate and you can just feel it. And that's another tip is to have things that you're passionate about that you enjoy discussing because when it's something that you enjoy whether it's music or movies tv or books um, anything any of your hobbies when you talk about it you feel more passionate and more comfortable now being an introvert doesn't mean it's harder to make friends it's just Introverts don't need hundreds of friends, and the ones that they do have are great friends. The key to having good friends is to be a good friend. So you want to cultivate people that like you, who accept you for who you are. I would say Sam and I get along so well because we are so opposite. She respects my introversion just as much as I respect her extroversion, and she can't be alone as much as I can, and I love our dynamic together, and I think it's really interesting. Not everybody's gonna have that kind of relationship with an extrovert. Some people, you know, I'm dating an introvert and I think it's great. My mom and stepdad are opposites, Bill's an extrovert. And you have to find those people who, who will love you for who you are and accept you for who you are for being, whether it's the quiet one or just the intelligent one, um, the, think, the thinker, I guess you would call it, because those of us who are in our heads are called the thinkers and there's nothing wrong with that. We spend a majority of our lives in our heads and you'll find those people who respect that and will love that about you. And ultimately be yourself and be it in style as my mom says. So be the best you that you can be. Don't try to be an extrovert. Don't try to be the outgoing one when you're not comfortable doing that. It's not in your nature. I cannot just go up to people and approach them but if they come to me and start talking to me I don't get scared. I just respond, but I prefer to obviously talk about things that are a little bit more meaningful instead of how's the weather. My mom says a person who remembers, who listens, who keeps a secret and doesn't gossip will always be popular. So don't worry about not having the you know, group of friends that, the huge number of friends, because we don't need that as introverts. We just need a few people that we can cherish who love us and you'll be popular amongst those people because you listen to them and you remember things and you keep secrets for them and that ultimately is priceless in a person it's a priceless trait to have so use your empathy and your listening skills and your quiet nature to your advantage to gain friends because those are the kind of friends that we all want are those who will listen to us and my mom says to pity the extrovert in a group of extroverts because no one's there to listen so the biggest thing to take away from this is to not feel weird to be in your own head. I think it's great um, what introverts are and what extroverts are. I think both 
have amazing qualities and both should be equally respected in society. And I think we're on the right track, especially with authors like Susan Cain out there to bring awareness to the greatness of introverts when so long it has been a society of extroverts and introverts have felt a way or a need to fit in when they're really not meant to. I mean, it's like, you know, my mom says a gay person trying to be in straight in a straight world and it's just not in their nature. It's just who we are to the core and we should accept that. And I mean, we're just as much of an introvert or an extrovert as we are our gender. So it's not something we can conform to or change. And we just need to learn different ways to communicate with others that we're comfortable with. And if you're shy, that is completely okay. Especially if you're an adolescent in your teens, because I was that way, my mom was that way. I, pretty much all introverts are pretty much that way in their teens, trying to figure out themselves. And I swear you'll find that communication method as you get older. I don't want to be preachy, but I went through that myself. And it's just something that you work on by communicating with others and it just kind of comes to you and you feel a certain way in conversation and you have to be confident in the fact that you're an introvert and it's definitely okay to leave the party early and go read a book or watch a TV show and just be alone. I need alone time so much. Like I'm a pretty extreme introvert. introvert. I have to be alone almost 100% of the time. So I highly recommend reading Susan Cain's book, Quiet, The Power of Introverts, or just watching her TED Talk. I think you'll really get an insight, especially if you're an extrovert watching this, an insight to the power of introverts and how great we really are. And you know, extroverts have been appreciated for so long and it's great to see someone like Susan appreciating the introvert. So I hope this is kind of something that will help you guys. I don't know if I touched on everything that you guys maybe wanted to hear. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try to respond to them if I have any good advice. And if I don't, I'll definitely ask my mother and hopefully she can help you. And hopefully we can get through this together, finding our ways of interacting um, in an extrovert world. But it really should be an equal world in my opinion. So I hope you take something away from this and I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.